Hi, everyone. So, uh, who and what will be up a little later. But we have had Natsu versus um, Ace. That death battle is taking, uh, has happened. Not going to say who won or who lost, but if you go to my prediction video, all I'm going to say is, yeah, I was pretty, I called that pretty well. <laughs> um, but anyway, moving on, we now have our next death battle up, and it is Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat versus, I want to see if I get the name right, Gla uh, Gladius, Gla uh, Glacius? He, uh, the Ice character, basically Ice versus Ice, more or less. And I knew enough about Sub-Zero that I could give, that I didn't have to just suddenly go up and look Sub-Zero. I didn't, I know he's from Killer Instinct, and I know he's like this big ice guy, but I didn't really know anything about him, so I quickly looked at, like, went to the wiki and stuff like that, just, basically just to get a basic idea of his abilities. And, it, <laughs> see, had I, had I not, because there's, they've now rebooted the series, retconned the series a bit, um, originally, he, he's an alien, he is an alien, apparently, uh, Glacius is an alien, a good alien, too, I, actually good, like, tries to fight for individuals, things along those lines, um, but when I read it, I was like, originally, I'm like, before I got to the reboot part, I'm like, okay, so he's, can create ice weapons, turn the wharf to liquid to ice, all that, and pretty much it's going to be, it, it, I would have actually given it a sub-zero initially, because their ice is really just going to cancel each other out, and Sub Zero has ninjutsu combat on his side. He's a ninja, uh, and I um I can't remember quite if he like Scorpion. He became demonic at some point. I can't remember that. I think he might have. If that's the case, he's also got demonic heritage on his side, or heritage, but demonic powers on his side. Otherwise, he, I'd still give him uh, the edge in, in terms of combat and ninjutsu. It's like Batman versus the Captain America fight, or. Batman wasn't just a brawler. He was more than that. Sub-Zero isn't just the ice. He's more than that. But then I read the rebooted... Uh, read about the reboot they did with the character. And it turns out that his race isn't an uh, ice race. They have telepathic ability to assimilate the environment around them. Be it ice, water, lava, fire, earth. Whatever the environment is, they assimilate that around onto their body to pretty much make a protective armor of some kind. Excuse me, I got hair in my glasses. Uh, protective armor of some kind, and they take on that form. I'm assuming they can do that when, depending on where, whatever environment they're in. See, that changes it up a little bit. Now, if, if I were to say it's overall, like, combat skill-wise, yeah, he, he, yeah, obviously this guy, Gladius, is, fights in the Killer Instinct tournaments, and I'm certain he's a good fighter, but this guy is a, sub Zero is a trained ninja. He's like a ninjutsu master with ice abilities. But it all the what's gonna decide this fight? I'm gonna honestly lean towards Sub Zero for the moment, but it's going to depend that if this if this uh, fight starts to span different environments and different topographies, different climates, different things like that. If Gladius is capable of assimilating different environments. Like, if they somehow reach, like, some place with a lot of fire or a magma or something like that, if they reach that, then I will give the fight towards Gladius because he's got more... He's got um, adaptability on his side. But if they stick to me one or two primary locations and he's maybe switches one time, assuming they even go with that, right? I would assume they would. Um, but And he switches one time, then... No, I'm, I'm going to give it a Sub-Zero overall. But I think it's going to be an interesting one. This, uh, I mean, Ace and uh, at the Ace and uh, Natsu fight was also pretty cool too. It, it was a good look. It was a good fight overall. Um, uh, but um, uh, no, this is this is one of those fights. This is like um, what what was the one I did? Uh, Bolt, not Voltron versus uh, oh, uh, Zoro versus Urza. Where I'm like, I couldn't immediately tell who was going to win, but I, I went towards Zoro. Uh, this is one of those things where I can't, again, I can't immediately tell who's going to win. But I'm going to lean towards Sub-Zero for the time being. Grant, my opinion could immediately change the moment I, like, the moment I, excuse me, uh, the moment I see them talk about the feats and be like, no, Sub-Zero doesn't have anything like that, like Gladi Gladius does and all that. Then maybe Gladius is going to take this and he takes it, maybe. But uh, I I can't this I can't be certain one way or the other. But right now I'm I'm lean towards Sub Zero because of his combat experience over Gladius, and because he's probably a more ruthless combatant too. Uh, because he he's gonna fight dirty, he's gonna fight the win. Whereas Gladius, despite being a good uh, despite being a fighter, is all much more good natured individual than Sub Zero is. But who knows? 
But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. If you have any ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superhero, What If, Magic, anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get do a review of it or video of it at some point. Be back a little later with who would win. Tomorrow would be Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, a Magic video, and a Superhero video. So keep your eyes out for those. Thanks for watching.